Okay, in this video, we're going to make a really simple little project, and basically the purpose of it is to learn how to do these tasks over here on the right-hand side. These are about 20 different uh, tasks that Gmetrics will ask you in the first practice test to get ready for certification. And these ones, the half of them are highlighted in green, and this one little project here, you can learn how to do half of them. I'm going to make another video to finish this project, and we'll go over the other half. But in this one, you'll learn how to do the ones that are highlighted in green. The um, end video for this part of the project is this. It's very simple. We'll put a better transition in there when we finish this video. But yeah, that's basically what we're doing. And I've added um, also to this video how to do a green screen chroma key to it. Let's get started. We're going to open Premiere. I already have some clips downloaded, and I'm going to give you links to download them, make sure that you put them in all in the same folder and you don't move it. That way, when you go to open it again, uh, Premiere won't give you that media offline warning. So I'm going to save mine in my Minecraft folder. And you can see I have my videos and stuff in here. Okay, and I'm going to name this Minecraft Video. And let's say create. And I'm going to go ahead and import some media. So I'm going to double click inside here and find some of my videos. I'm going to give you links to these files here. This first one is just this Minecraft guy dancing on a green background. I'm going to show you how to remove the background on that. And then the other video for the background, you can pick whatever you want. I searched Pixabay videos and searched video game. And I have this, and I'm going to combine these two together. So let me go ahead and just do that real quick, and then I'll start importing some of the other things into my project window. So I'm going to drag this one into the timeline, and I'm going to drag this dance guy in here on top of it, and I'm going to shorten this to be the same length for now. I may be pulling that out later. All right, so you can see I have these two things here. One of the questions on Gmetrics is they want you to double click inside there to show you how to expand tracks. So I'm showing you that. Let's unlink this right here. This comes with some type of uh, audio file, uh, track link to it, but there's no audio. So I'm going to show you how to unlink it. So you want to just right click on there and go to unlink. I think in Gmetrics it acts, asks you to link something, which you just do the opposite. You just hold your shift key and get to um, the audio track and video track and you can right click it and choose link instead. But we're going to unlink it. So now we can delete that audio track. We do not need that. Alright, let me change this so it's transparent. Let's give this guy a see-through green thing. So we're going to go over here to effects and go to video effects and go to keying and choose ultra key and we're going to drag that on top of here and then we're going to get the key color right here get the eyedropper and click on the green and boom it's gone so this shows you a composite of what it's like if you ever need to fine tune anything you can go to alpha channel see how that has like a little bit of black and white there you can actually edit that to um, you know make it look a little bit better but this is good enough for what we're going to do I'm going to put it back on composite so we have these two things here it's a sequence now let's go back to our project window you'll see we have the dance thing the video game uh, sequence and the actual clip that we brought in actually this is the sequence here I believe let's look at it in list view okay so this right here is actually our sequence right there. So it's going to ask you in Gmetrics how to rename this and change the color of that. So I have that in list view. You can uh, right click right here and go to label and let's change it to purple. And you can also right click that and you can say rename. So we can just call this Minecraft Sequence. All right, so that's a couple questions in Gmetrics right there. I'm going to go back to the thumbnail view. Oops, right there. You can also change the size of your thumbnails right here. 
If you put it right here, it's free form, so you can like arrange things however you want. I'm just going to put it back on the regular thumbnail. Next thing that we're going to do, they ask this in Gmetrics 2, is to change the autosave. So on my Mac, I have my preferences over here. Um, on your PC, Windows PCs, it's going to be on Edit. You'll go all the way down to the bottom. So under Edit, we'll find your preferences on your Windows. I'm going to go to Autosave. So let's change this to 10 minutes. So every 10 minutes, it will automatically save the project. There you go. There's another Gmetrics question. Okay, let's move on. Let's import a logo and a little background to make an intro for this video here. So I'm going to double click in my project window and I'm going to download this Minecraft logo and this little background thing here, these two image files. On Gmetrics, it's going to ask you how to delete some JPEGs that are in your folder. You do the pretty easy thing. You just click on them and you can press your delete key backspace. Okay, that's how you delete one. I'm going to put it back though. So it's very easy to import and delete these images in your project window. Okay, so I want to move this over. So I'm going to hold the shift key so that I can get both of those. And I want to move them over to about, I would say, let's do 4 minutes and 10 seconds. That should be pretty good. And slide that over there. And I'm going to use the plus key to enlarge that a bit. All right, so we're going to put in some graphics over here. So you can just lower this a little bit so we can have some more room. We don't need that to be so big. And you can also just double click inside there to expand it. We want to add, um, we already have one video track, so let's go ahead and put this JPEG in there. So we're going to drop that in right there. And I want to add another video track here. I can just take this Minecraft logo and drag it in on top or they want the way they tell you on Gmetrics is to right click in here and say add track so you see we just added a track in there so that's another way to do that and I think on Gmetrics they want you to when you add a track um, it's going to open up another window and ask you a couple other things but that's a very easy thing you can figure out as you go okay let me make this a little smaller bring this down a little bit. Alright, so what I want to do is I want to make this Minecraft logo. It needs to be smaller for one thing and knowing how to scale something is another question on the Gmetrics. I'm gonna have mine uh, Minecraft logo actually come in from the top of the window and come down and rest at the bottom. So the process is pretty much the same thing. Let me make it smaller first. So let's click on that layer. So make sure you click on that and go to Effect Controls, and let's open up Motion, and we want Scale. And all you gotta do is pull this down here and scale it. All right, so that's the size we want. Now let's animate the position and the opacity. I think that Gmetrics wants you to animate the opacity, so I'm gonna do Position also. So we're at the very beginning of our movie here, so I have the timeline all the way starting at zero. I need to put in some keyframes. So at keyframe number one at the very beginning, let's go up to position. And I click the little clock, so you see it turned blue, and it gave me this keyframe here. I want the position, let's vertically position this up here off the top. And let's do opacity, let's put a keyframe there for opacity too and let's make the opacity of this zero. And then I'm going to move the time to be about right here, somewhere around two minutes, or two seconds rather. Two seconds. And let's have two more keyframes. I'm going to put a keyframe for position, and I'm on a keyframe for opacity as well. Let's go ahead and bump the opacity up to 100, and take the position and move it down about right here. Okay, so let's play that back and see what we got. There we go. All right, so that's the end of the first video that I'm making for this assignment. I just wanted to show you a little recap of what we learned how. These are the tasks that they're gonna ask you in the first 
Geometrics um, te practice test. So we did linking audio and video clips. So I showed you how to unlink the audio that was in that um, video game controller clip. Uh, we deleted image files. So I showed you how to like import the Minecraft logo and background and delete them. We did that. We made a video track and where we inserted the images for the Minecraft logo in the background. I showed you how to rename and do label colors in the program window and we placed some clips into a sequence and we did autosave in the preferences. We showed you how to make a new sequence which was just like over here the placing uh, clips into a sequence. Uh, we did animate opacity where we made the logo fade from the top of the screen into a solid color and we scaled the Minecraft logo. So you can see that's about half of the tasks that you're going to have on the Geometrics exam or practice test. And the next video, I will show you how to do these other tasks and we'll wrap this section up.